Lumela Bazano Kalabeng, Lina Lamiki, Wealth Prince Moabi. I was born in Botswana, raised by my grandparents, Doris Moabi and Jacob Moabi. Kumala Pole, Kosurusko Scottishi. While my mom was in Gaborone, I actually had a horrific talk on me. So, You know, I've been on Rhythm City, Generations, Seven Dillon, you know, Amakoti, The Housewives, Acting Lee, Sevima Boya, you know, known as Tony from, you know, Scandal. Okay, so what happened was, on my Facebook, uh, you know, timeline, I used to post the videos of me acting. You know, I didn't know that one of the agents followed me in my account because when she liked it, she uh, DM'd me and say, I see that you're an actor and I can help you be in one of, you know, the shows here in South Africa. I was like, I want to be in Rhythm City. She was like, come to Dubek and I will show you how it's done. And I went there, then boom, I was in Rhythm City. Wow, um, the experience was amazing, exciting, because like I used to watch those people on TV. So for me to be working in the same building, like it's, it's, it's amazing, honestly. My best memorial, you know, a moment is when Mapula Mafole, known as Mapula Modem City, and he's like a script because most scripting, I was playing as two Iron Crew member and the Kigan Star, Nike soft, this soft, this so I couldn't like he handle those, you know, characters as a horrific take against Tanyana and all stuff. Of one. So Nantis are born, Ibizayana, Dirayana, behave like this, or one of Zamayana, wear like this, which in Chitoni or one. So go on a Tahanaboro, a sort of horror character. My best highlight of my career is when me being featured on Netflix and Show Max. That was the highlight of my career because I have long dreamed of myself on this platform, Sub Netflix, Sub Show Max. That was my best highlight of my career. So I have to go soon to South Africa to shoot this show mix show. Like I'm super excited. They're well known guys. We are big names, Miss Kendava, like Wokum Christopher. Like imagine guys kick So I'm gonna be acting in the show called My Other Side. It's an LGBTQ community series. LGBT. It's an awareness series. about their lifestyles, you know, what they're always up to, you know, and stuff. Okay, um, it started on Twitter, actually. You know, I used to post her, like how I support her, how I love her music and her work ethics. So there's a time in Lohore, I was going through a lot and I posted about I'm committing suicide and then her mother saw that. Then she sent me a DM and be like, Mamba, what's wrong? You know, give me your number, I'll call you. Okay, I gave her my number. She called me, we started talking and talking and then she was like, how can I help? I'm like, this is what's going on. I'm struggling with one, two, three and you know, and then boom, I started talking to Boiti and Boiti started helping me out, you know, with clothes for sad because people used to laugh at me. You know, because now I come from a poor background, family, so, but I bought me clothes, food vouchers, and the grocery, transport money. You know, like she's really that person. You know, I make a change in long by me, honestly. Boiti, like she works so hard. Her work ethic, daughter, yeah, inspire her. Her like I the better version of myself. Do I better than cutting, daughter, like. Wow, it's amazing. And Boiti that all contributed into my career, and a lot of people, they don't know that. You know, Boiti is one of the people who, when I didn't have transport money, she offered me money. When I didn't have clothes to go on set, she offered that. When I was at my lowest, when my family was not there for me, she was there for me. Like, that's why I said she's my second mother, because she's been playing a role, yeah, a mother figure into my life. 
it's okay to be not okay. You know, people they think as men we're not supposed to cry. It's okay. Men also are allowed to cry and to break down. And okay, today I'm not feeling well. Today I'm sad. Today I'm depressed. So it's okay, black child. You know what, guys? I'm not okay today. But okay today. Social media is honestly very powerful, but also it can destroy you. I like what I'm by Teresa, I'm going to tell you but social media, guys, is very powerful. It can take you from here to there. I'm going to tell you about the place, I'm going to tell you about the place, I'm going to tell you about the place, I'm going to tell you about the place. Okay, I'm working on an EP. This EP called The African Superstar. You know, I'm working with DJ Miles. We have a song called Hambanami, you know, Boiti, Kamumpela, and someone I won't mention, but be on the lookout. And also, I have my own reality show, which is going to be on Moja Love. I want to show people how I make things happen, even though, really, an upcoming artist, but I'm not an upcoming, but I'm just, yeah. First of all, one thing that you can do, don't listen to the naysayers or the negativity of the world telling you that you cannot do anything. Start believing in yourself and then invest in your career and then push and make things happen. Create opportunities. Don't wait for opportunities to come. Create them. Knock the door. If the door doesn't open, kick the door or do whatever to get inside that door. The first thing, I have a spiritual calling to Togoza Gogo. For the second, I am single, ready to mingle with this other person. And uh, the third one is that I don't smoke, I don't drink. <laughs>